You know, it took some time, but we finally have some information about the Nintendo Switch online services that Nintendo announced before the Switch was even released. To be fair, some of the things announced are pretty interesting. The thing is, even with those details now being public, the internet seems to be divided on the whole thing. Some people applaud Nintendo for doing so, while others are pretty disappointed by the reveal. But why though? Well, let's start from the beginning, shall we? Ever since Nintendo figured out that the internet was a thing back during the Nintendo DS era with the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection, playing online with your friend always was limited compared to, let's say, Xbox Live or PlayStation Network. Obviously, those services require you to pay a fee to connect to their server. Nintendo's service, on the other hand, was free. So I guess this was a possible explanation of the subpar service. Most notably, Nintendo's service was pretty bad at games like Super Smash Bros, which were plagued with lag online. But you know, it worked relatively well with games like Mario Kart and Splatoon. Obviously, I always said to myself, hey, it's free, let's not complain. On January of 2017, there was a big press conference aimed at showing the Nintendo Switch and what it would be. Before the actual press conference, there were rumors that Nintendo would be following the footsteps of Xbox and PlayStation and would start charging customers to play online games. This rumor turned out to be true when Tatsumi Kimishima, president of Nintendo at the time, came on stage to reveal that to play games online with the Nintendo Switch, you'll have to pay a price. The price wasn't revealed though, and it was also mentioned that the Nintendo Switch Online wasn't going to be ready for launch, meaning that you'd be able to play your games online for free until the service officially launches in September of 2017. Considering Nintendo is planning on charging a monthly fee to play games online on your Switch, people were expecting the online experience to actually improve drastically. I mean, previously with the Wii U and 3DS, there were no ways of, you know, creating lobbies with your friends, you know, chatting via the internet while playing your favorite games, the type of things we've come to expect of online services now. So now that we have to pay a fee, we expect those things to be bundled with the Switch. Well, Nintendo confirmed that there would be no voice chat in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but Splatoon 2 was confirmed to have voice chat. Hooray! I suppose you will need a Bluetooth headset to connect to the Switch and you're set, right? Right? <laughs> Well, it turns out that this is not how Nintendo was planning to make online voice chat a reality. In fact, Nintendo thought it would be a good idea to use a smartphone app. When this was officially revealed, people were going crazy. And for good reason. I mean, the Nintendo Switch is a portable system. Why should I have to use another portable system, aka a phone, just to be able to create lobbies, play online and use voice chat? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not against a companion app for the Nintendo Switch. This is an awesome idea, but I mean, it shouldn't be the only way to do it. To be fair, I use the app to check out which Splatoon stages are in rotation and my rankings and I totally like that. But as soon as I want to play with someone else, you'll never see me use the app. I tried, it was super limited. It creates a lobby and you can only chat with your friends. So if you hope to team up with another pair and voice chat with them to win a game, forget it. Plus, as soon as one of the player in the lobby decides to go back to the Splatoon menu, the lobby is automatically closed and all communications are cut. This is kind of stupid, let's be honest. I now use Discord as it's way easier to set up and way better. As I mentioned previously, Kimishima announced that the service would be coming out on September of 2017. Well, in June of that same year, Nintendo revealed that the Switch Online services was delayed to a vague 2018 release date. It wasn't really clear as to why it was pushed back, but during E3, Reggie fils president of Nintendo of America, explained that they pushed the release date because they really wanted people to jump in and get enough for their money. 
This is only my opinion, but I believe that they pushed it back to include cloud save backups for the Nintendo Switch. You see, all previous Nintendo consoles always had a way of getting back your game saves in case of a problem. The NES, SNES and N64 have the saves on a cartridge. The GameCube used memory cards that you could easily copy over. The Wii used SD cards to back up your stuff and the Wii U accepted external hard drives to back up your saves. As for the Nintendo Switch, well, if your console dies, well, good luck, dude. Nintendo doesn't support any type of save files to be exported to an SD card, even though the console supports those cards. It is believed that this is an attempt to prevent piracy, but I mean, the Nintendo Switch is a console that you can take with you anywhere. Chances of losing the system or dropping it are way higher than previous Nintendo consoles, so it only makes sense that people want a way to back up their saves. With the Xbox One and PlayStation, for, you can back up your saves in the cloud using your Microsoft or PSN account. And with the Switch you can link a Nintendo account, so it only makes sense that people are also expecting to be able to do so. So will people finally be able to save their games on the cloud? Well... Yes, they will be able to save if they pay the price. The details for the Nintendo Switch Online as well as the final release date were revealed on May 7th. The service will supposedly launch on September of this year and will allow you to play online. You know, the thing you've been doing for free for the past year and a half? Well, it will also allow you to play a selection of NES games with added online functionalities. As I already spoiled, you will now be able to save your games to the cloud and tie them to your Nintendo account. Meaning that if your Switch dies, well you can buy a new one and you won't lose those 200 hours logged into Zelda Breath of the Wild. The service will apparently offer deals and other special promotions. Last but not least is the return of everyone's favorite Nintendo smartphone app. You thought that they would listen to the feedback and allow you to chat right from your Switch? Well, nope. So, now that we know that we're gonna have this online service, how much can we expect to pay? Nintendo Switch Online will cost about $20 per year and will also offer a family plan for 35 bucks. It is way cheaper than Xbox and PlayStation for sure, but I mean, it feels like a way cheaper plan. With PSN, you get access to full games for a month. With Nintendo, well, you'll get some NES classic games. Again, I'm not hating, but I just can't help but being negative. NES games were there on the Wii's Virtual Console, the 3DS Virtual Console, the Wii U Virtual Console, and they were even on the NES Classic that was released two years ago. Like, how many times do we have to replay the same NES games over and over again and pay over and over again to play those classics? Also, I feel like charging to play Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and Splatoon 2 will drastically decrease the number of players online. For example, I love to play these games on stream, but I know a lot of my viewers probably won't get the service and won't be able to play with me anymore after September, and that saddens me. I was kinda hoping that this new online paywall would only apply to newer online titles, you know, like the upcoming Super Smash Bros. I wasn't expecting it to retroactively lock games that were previously free to play online. It's kind of a bummer, but I mean, what can we do? In conclusion, I suppose we have to wait and see. What we have right now can be pretty cool, but it can also have negative consequences on the Switch's player base. We don't know if the smartphone app will be updated and will actually allow you to have lobbies all the time now, or you know if there are plans to add SNES and N64 classic games to the lineup of free classics. You see, I know I will be buying the plan because I am a Nintendo YouTuber and I want to see everything it offers, but right now I'm still skeptical on the whole thing. Hopefully, I'm in the wrong here and Nintendo's online service will blow me away. Let's just wait and see. What about you? What are your opinions on the Nintendo Switch online service? Do you think that it's a good thing? Do you think it's a bad thing? Well, just tell me in the comments. I want to read what you guys think about that. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe and hit the bell to see more videos, and thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys next time.